finally clean. You remember how we were doing anime night last night? And I kept getting up to see if the water was turned back on. It never came back on. So, uh... I had to go all night without taking a shower. Which is an attack on a minority if I've ever seen one. People who shower at night. No, it came back. But then I had to go to work. So, uh... Yeah. I wasn't able to, um... Do the laundry or, uh... All of that. Shower. Toilet doesn't work. Uh, no sinks. God forbid I want to brush my teeth. I have to do that. Brush your teeth if you don't want to go to fucking jail, kids. So yeah, I went all night with no, uh, with no running water. It finally came back. And then when I came back from work today... I finally got in the shower, and I am finally clean. Then came the real bad news. Mmm. Favorite candy? It's the peanut butter cup. It always has been. Uh, but yeah, the real bad news is that Mojang is getting worst game developer of the year at the uh, Headhunter Gaming Awards. Isn't that fun? Isn't that very interesting? Because if I recall, they also won worst game developer uh, the last time we did Headhunter Gaming Awards. Oh. Yeah, we're doing it again this uh, this year. Well, technically it's coming out in January, but still. It's all the games that came out this year. We asked them to do one simple thing. Just add all three mobs. Alright? You work in a money factory. You seriously telling me you can't afford to add all three? I too liked the tree. We'll get a new server, um, either late this year or next year. We'll get a new server with new VTuber friends, and, uh, we'll build a new tree. <coughs> I'm fine, that's the coffee going down the wrong way. It's fine. Actually, it's totally fine. I was expecting to cough way more than that. Wow. Anyway, then I got the good news. Does anyone, anyone at all, remember Dementium the Ward for Nintendo DS? Editor Gaming did a video on it a couple years back, and I think it kind of snuck its way onto the Halloween stream. It was this old Nintendo DS horror game. Yes, they made a Nintendo DS horror game. They made three, actually. Two Dementium games, and I don't remember the other one. It finally got ported to Switch. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the Hedator Gaming video tomorrow, which is great. It was going to be Dead Space, but... Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? The game's not installed. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I could have sworn I did that last night. 
relax, it's 7.1 gigs, it'll be done. You know what, I'm gonna accelerate the process. It's going on the, uh, it's going on the star drive. Would have been fine with the armadillo had they just given us all three. Yeah, you know what, this is downloading. Let's talk about this. They were spamming that in the chat. They were spamming in the uh, stream chat, hashtag stop the mob vote. Yeah, and then a mod added all three within days after it was announced. So, yeah. Do I've been saying this on the Discord. Mojang, you work in a money factory. You're seriously telling me you can't afford to add all three? They'd win some free points if they just added all all free. They would win a lot of uh, favor with the community. So yeah, I'm unhappy and a lot of other people are unhappy, which does make me happy that everyone else is also unhappy. It's not just me screaming into the void again. People are legitimately upset this time. It's not just a me thing, you know? Only thing I would have the community vote for it would be which one to work on first. Yeah, exactly. Vote on which one is getting added first. But they're scrapping the other two. You already made and programmed these things. They could flip a switch and add it. Why can't we just vote on when you're going to flip that switch? <laughs> also, who in their right mind voted for the armadillo? That's the thing, too. Like, this divides their so-called community every year. Let's do the math on this. Uh, what were the statistics on it? Uh... Okay, so 42% of people voted for the armadillo, which means 58% of people don't want the armadillo. You just pissed off 58% of the uh, percent of the fan base. <laughs> and now you got people on Twitter that are being like, maybe we'd be better off if we brought back Notch. <laughs> and that's a whole other can of worms we're not going to get into. The game is ready. Getting the volume. Yeah, FP3, there's a million ways they could fix it. They could have gotten a lot of uh, community favor if they just listened to us. But they didn't. And now we've got rumors circulating that the vote was rigged? So, it's a great big mess. So, we're waiting for an apology and a statement from them. Because that whole stream was pre-recorded, obviously. Because Mojang is some of the laziest goddamn people, people in the entire games industry. Oh man, we could have added all three, but I've been programming for like 30 minutes now and I've been typing on the keyboard and my hands, oh, they hurt real bad. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yes, absolutely pathetic. The head of your gaming awards, like, the title of worst game developer this year, it's gonna be a competition of laziness. Because I've been noticing this more and more, game developers have been getting just really lazy. And then when people complain that they're drip feeding content, they go to Twitter and they say, well, you see, game development is hard and I've been programming for like 30 minutes of my eight hour shift and my, my hands were real bad. <laughs> Bungie has been especially bad about this. They've done that twice. <laughs> Most of modern gaming is a joke. Last week, we played Doom 3, and I kept singing some of its praises that it runs on 250 megabytes of RAM and only takes up a gigabyte and a half of hard drive space. And you still get, like... 15 hour game. <laughs> How do we bring back that kind of amazing wizardry? We create stuff. I would hope so, yes. They're the same guys that made Nightmare House 2. They say curiosity killed the cat. What? <laughs> I killed the cat. <laughs> curiosity only brought her to me. Okay, that's kind of silly. <laughs> Living Tombstone made this? Where did it say that? What happened? That's a great question there, buddy. The logo was in the opening. The logo was in the opening logos before the menu. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna. Give me one second. In sound mind. Living tombstone. Okay, yeah, uh, he's on the OST. I didn't know that. I, I knew he was still doing stuff. I didn't know he did... I didn't know he did the, the soundtrack for this. He teamed up with the Nightmare House 2 guys. That's fucking metal as fuck. Catastrophe! Forget everything. Life, life as you've known it is now out the window. All indicators are indicating. Stay inside. That's what they said about COVID. Stay inside. Storage. Eh? Huh? Saw that. Who's there? No one. The hell? Flashlight. Gimme, gimme. Hmm? Hmm. It's an old flashlight. Hopefully, there are enough batteries around. Hey, check it out. Life, death, life, death, life, death, life, death. Who put the chair there? 
Hey! Hey! The horse played this a while back during the big game bundle. No, we played this for Oktoberfest. I think. Did we play this for the bundle? Was this in a bundle? I don't think it was. Hallway key. Batteries! This workbench is available to all tenants. No outside use allowed. Management is not responsible for any injury you might be you might inflict on yourself. Be safe. Please do not take any tools outside of this room. Fluorescent lighting. It's locked. There's a keyhole. There's a gas mask. New objective. Get the gas mask from the boiler room. Gas leaks are hazardous to your health. If you smell, see, or hear a gas leak coming from the boiler room, leave immediately and notify me. Okay, who's our superintendent? We need to notify him. Basement rules and regulations. Basement is open 24 hours for residents only. No guests allowed. Building is not responsible for anything left in your pockets and ruined in the laundry. Workbench tools must remain in the workroom. Anything left or forgotten in the basement will still be where you left it when you come back. Ah, the laundry room. Some of the washers have been short-circuiting. Fortunately, the fuses they use are universal. Still, if they act up, please don't try and fix it. Call me. Well, at least the landlord is responsible. I have a fuse. I think we could put it in that one. Ooh. Nosy, ain't you? Yes, extremely. I could probably break this with something. Okay, we gotta go find something. Oh, you guys got the stream schedule, right? Hmm? Anyway, yeah, the stream schedule is now up on, uh... What's it called? It's up on everything, don't worry. It's a fuse box. Wait, it's moving. There's a secret! Saw it on Blue Sky? Ah, fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop posting on Twitter. Just straight up. Oh. I might be able to cut this. All right, we gotta call the landlord again. I'm not sure I want to get under this. Eesh. This looks weak. It's a fuse box. Get <laughs> Ow. That probably should have killed me. Ugh, 
good news is I fixed the elevator. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to two because someone stole the button to one. Eh, hey! I saw you in the basement. Basement man. Second floor. We have batteries. Chips. Phones that don't no work. Speaking of. A cat! Where are you going, cat? Oh. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> the game is called In Sound Mind, and yet I'm seeing giant logos up in the sky. Hey, it's cool when they put the logo inside the game. Okay, my office. Hmm? There's somebody on the phone. There's somebody on the phone. There he is. Long have I waited for this moment to watch as you scramble for your last breath, as you try to make sense of your reality and the gravity it carries, pulling you down. <laughs> oh, I can't contain my excitement. Anyway. Tape player. <laughs> Can you imagine him on the other end? <laughs> it, hello? It, hello? It, did he hang up? He hung up in the middle of my monologue! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Ooh. The backgrounds. How rude. He's the one that called me and was and was like I don't know, this sounded like an evil thing. Milton Haven Emergency Broadcast System. I think this sound is illegal. I'm pretty sure that this sound is illegal. Allow me to explain. The emergency broadcast system, it starts with the bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. And then it has this tone. It goes boop. That's the illegal part. You can use the bam, bam in like videos and stuff. You cannot use this. Because this is the part that's actually like transmitting like data. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn that off before we, uh, break the law. Is anybody even out there? Nope. Can anybody find me? Somebody to love. Those are the same header tones, and if you play them over the waves, the real emergency system might kick in. Yes, it is illegal to broadcast those.
They don't tell you about it, though. We are Mayor Pharmaceuticals. Wanted to take the time and thank you for your continued support in our company and new distribution center here at Milton Haven. Your health and safety are our number one concern, but also your money. Because that's just American healthcare right there. Email us with any comments or concerns at neighborhoodpharma at mayor.co.biz. I misspelled neighborhood. Okay, hang on. <laughs> what should we email? Uh, subject line... E A S Is it illegal for me to broadcast the uh, Well, uh, I shouldn't say broadcast to stream this game with the TV making that Noise? Question mark? Headhunter Productions. Send. I did not get... Oh, no, there it is. Address not found. Ah, boo! Yes, I actually just sent an email. The URL doesn't exist either. Oh. 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 Lame. Who turned my lights off? <gasps> we have a gramophone? record player. Guess not. I thought there were pieces for the gun around here. Wasn't there one on top of the vending machine? Wait, where is the vending ma- wait, is that one? No, that's a battery. Okay, the slide was on top of the, uh, vending machine. There should be a third piece somewhere. Chips. Potato chips. <sighs> Maybe it's in the basement? I don't know. Oh. 
Let's put the tape in the tape player. Reminds me of a liminal space. Uh, liminal spaces are on Friday. Scary man, are you there? Nope. Nothing. It's my tape player. Uh, put the Desmond tape in there. Desmond. Oh my god, it's a giant cassette tape. I told you this game has tapes in it. <laughs> Tries calling the scary guy back. <laughs> hey, scary guy. What? Is this the guy who hung up on me? Uh, no, I think we just got disconnected. You lying sack of shit. <laughs> Oh, the little things turn, you see that? Well, I'm starting to see unusual patterns, behaviors. Ever since the crash, maybe. It's beginning to make sense. Where'd the cat I go? Suppose. My own feelings of dread, of fear, are similar to those of my patients. I've lost sight of the kitty cat. My patients were dropping like flies, dying. Oh, poor Virginia. I should go over their cases. I need to understand what this is. Hope it wasn't a black cat. There's nothing wrong with black cats. Black cats. Do not bring bad luck. What's up, Mr. Black Cat? See? There's a black cat here. And I'm not dead. Good luck! If I can get through this, if I can just keep my mind focused, I must stay aware. Awake. Alert. A lot of stars out tonight. That's kind of pretty. My office. Well, it could stand to be cleaned. I was expecting a loop like PT. <gasps> Kitty! Tanya, how? I mean, hi. I'm having a weird day. Everything okay with you? All right. That's a yes. Thanks for the elevator button. <laughs> Good kitty. Yes, you can pet the cat in... in sound mind. Good kitty. Oh. Phone doesn't work anymore. Oh, man. You can pet the cat, 11 out of 10 game. I think that was the name of the achievement, actually, that you get for petting the cat. Because th th this game is made by uh, some people who have a sense of humor. 
like, uh, if you hang up on the guy while he's talking, you get an achievement called Nope. And, uh, if you pet the cat, you get an achievement called Gotti 10 out of 10. <laughs> hmm? Do you know how a Rorschach test works? Yes. I can sneak past it. I know I can. Hmm. Oh! Oh yeah, I can sneak right past it. Don't you worry. Sucker! <laughs> this elevator button is missing. There we go. Okay, now let's go to the first floor. <sighs> <laughs> Would you like to take a moment to talk about the- That's when you hang up on him. Bring, bring. Hello. We've been trying to reach you about your vehicle's extended warranty. If you're reading this, it means I was right. In that case, the slide is on the second floor above the vending machine. The barrel is on the first floor maintenance room taped under the table. And the grip is in the basement behind the middle laundry machine. You got my back, I got yours. L. First floor maintenance room. Thanks, L. Where's the first floor maintenance room? Wait a minute. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's go assemble a gun! I have sword when you can have gun. I can probably assemble something here. I have no idea what make this is. I hope I don't have to use this. Oh, you will. This is definitely not a 1911. The handle is up too far. I think the make is workshop chic. I don't know. It kind of looks like a... 1911, but it probably isn't. So, uh, what's with the big glowing room at the end of the hall? Number one? Virginia's apartment. Well, it's better than getting uh, sent to jail over the uh, 
tone. I've, restor I've resorted to writing you letters because you won't answer your phone. I'm surprised not to hear the answering machine we bought you coming on. Is it broken? Your father insisted we send you money for the electric bill, and though you know I love you and will support you, I do not want to encourage you begging us for money every other month. You need to find something more lucrative. Selling your toys is too niche. You were always such a personality. Maybe you could use that to your advantage somehow. Oh, anyway, love and love and love. Please answer your phone. Mom, Dad, and Freddy. That's why she won't answer her phone. Her, da her brother is Fred. Hey, it's Fred! We are sent to inform you that we will be closing our store at the end of the week. Unfortunately, we can no longer compete with the larger supermarket chains that have laid their claim to our small town. We wish to thank you for your patronage and invite you to our going out of business sale this Thursday. Hmm. Freddy, you mean the animatronic? No, I mean Freddy, the first guy on YouTube to reach a million subscribers. Yes, that's depressing. She cloaks the knife with pretty linen and presents it as a gift. She croaks the phrase, we pretty women sending me away adrift. Her dreams are dead, so please take mine. I wonder how she sleeps at night. My dreams are nightmares, stuck in time. A linen damaged by a knife. One hundred and eight dollars and seventy-five cents for stitches. For stitches, it's one hundred and eight dollars. The thread probably cost them like two. Don't stay in bed. Fuck you. I stay here. I make my kingdom here now. There's a mirror. <laughs> Don't stay in bed, they say. Don't you know the best part of waking up is going back to bed? What? Hello? Okay, this guy really needs to stop hanging up on me. I swear to God. Did you just hang up again? You son of a bitch. This is him calling me to tell me to stop in the hanging up. I have a feeling, a hunch if you will, that looking into your patient's death will result in a <laughs> Bullets! Oh Gun plus barrel equal boom. Okay. Nice. Oh, hi! Does it work on you? Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> Is my cat still here? No. Where's my cat? I miss my cat! Back in we go. Clock's going nuts. But only the minute hand for some reason. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, well, it's very purple. Yeah, that's right. Was certainly a staple of the community. Change can be very dangerous, people. Also, if a person abandons their shopping cart next to another abandoned shopping cart, I should be allowed to kill them. This is my job, by the way. I'm the cart guy. I throw carts into the water where they belong. Like this. <laughs> Okay, Karen. <laughs> Karen. I understand. Yeah, I know. We uh, we were just reading that, Lee. As the game was booting up, someone pointed out the living tombstone, and I was like, I did not know that. That's okay. Like, I was like, yeah, it's made by the same people who made Nightmare House. I did not know Living Tombstone did the music. That's awesome. Tombstone actually make his own games. I think he's primarily a music guy. Okay, hang on. This is why people don't return their shopping carts because they're like, I'm supposed to go in there like that, but I can't get it in there. It's too hard. I bet. I've been shopping for a while and my feet hurt real bad. I'm just gonna shove it over there. And that's what they do. <laughs> Cause your feet hurt real bad. <laughs> Lee, did you message me? Yes, you did. I'm sorry, I can't see Discord right now. Who was on Steam? All right, they did. Put Dementium 2 on Steam and it was kind of awful. Welcome to Homa Mart. Oh, I set off the metal detector. Can't believe that remix is almost a hundred views. It's a lock with a coin slot. Ooh, one of those. Nothing. Anyway, if you look at um. What was it? Uh, Nathan Evans Wellerman. That has like 250 million. That is nuts. Like that exploded. It's crazy. 
They ported a game from the DS to the computer. Controls be weird. Don't I know it. Gaming Channel has been emulating DS games for a little bit now. Mostly uh, the Infinite Space playthrough, but... Due to an earlier incident, Home Mart is temporarily closed to the general public. We apologize for the inconvenience and will s reopen soon. Oh, please tell me she didn't go out and shoot up the place. It's unrealistically durable. How unrealistic is unrealistic? What if I just... Don't ask me how that worked. Coin slot. It's a coin slot. Oh, come on. Mannequins. Oh, boy. This one's name is George. What was the name of the mythical creature where the top half is human and the bottom half is a squid? Cecilia? Cecil... Something with a C. Is George curious? No, it's George with a J. This one is Inez. Inez has a fucked up face. <laughs> For your safety, use extra caution stepping behind the yellow tape and into the crime scene. There's plenty of broken glass and sharp objects lying around. I can't spell it, but yes. Okay. Hello? There's another mirror. Ugh, what is it with this? Oh boy. You gotta take a good long look in the mirror. It's reflective and sharp. Sharp as a knife. Now I can see behind me. Hmm. You know, this might be able to... Aha! Okay, so that's gonna make noise. Uh, okay, I'll try not to. She broke it, get ready for 10 years of bad luck. Well, she's gonna have 10 years. Let's see if we can make it. Huh. Guys, there's cool things in the mirror. Don't look at me, I'm a monster. No. You heard that, okay. Mirror! Ha ha! East Wing Key. Hmm. Alright, come on. I think I saw another mirror on our way in. Which I can no longer reach because the food section is locked down. Damn it. Up to 50% off! Wow! Discounts! Five dollars. Yeah, working it's at a place like this is gonna drive you insane. You would be you would be astounded which part will actually drive you insane. By the way, it's not the customers. It's the music they play every damn day. Currently making Beetlejuice nails and a little green bit. Yeah, folks, leave. 
Please go to see Beetlejuice. I always wanted to see that. That video you sent me, I never actually watched it. I meant to, and I didn't. Eh. Remember Kmart Radio? Buddy, I don't remember Kmart. <laughs> you think I remember Kmart Radio? As a way of killing two birds with one coin, we're combining selling off our new postcard collection with our freshly minted Homa Mart coins. Okay. The door to the east wing is locked. Well, a I have a key. Holy crap. Okay. Batteries. Okay, good. Sheriff's Department incident report. On Wednesday afternoon, the Sheriff's Department received a call from Mr. Anderson Parker, manager at Home of Art Department Store, about a distra distraught woman screaming and breaking various items in the store. One of those Karens. A distraught woman, they called her. Quite the way to say she was out of... Anyway... How many? That didn't work. Four digit combination. Too many to guess in a reasonable amount of time. I wonder what he's got to hide. A closer look in the mirror might reveal his addiction. Okay. Not seeing much of anything. Offices. Whoa! My print is broken. <laughs> Stop hanging up on me. <laughs> hey, don't hang up this time. I swear. Hello? God damn it. Dude, can you believe all this CCTV crap? Does he really have to keep an eye on us all the time? That control freak can probably see me writing this from his office right now. Maybe his former employees stole from his registers. But we ain't about that, right? Sincerely, Dave. Bullets! Whoa! Hi. Hey, can I stab ya? Don't think so. Okay, well, that was worth a try. Goodbye. Okay, I need the power room. Power box is wired to the following offices. One is the offices, two is the manager room and the CCTV room, three is the hallway, staff room, compressor room. Broken. Let's turn on the CCTVs. We turn off the staff room. David, you fool! You forgot your punch card in the machine again. Are you really that dumb? I slipped it in your locker. Again. He knows. Thanks, Inez. Uh, all the damn lockers. Okay. It's a locked locker. I don't have the oh, key nice. for this. Whoa! Oh. Thanks, Dave. I guess.
Punch card. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> she had mentioned a boy. I saw him on the evening news. He said she was always a little crazy. We just didn't know to what end. Thanks, Dave. See you around. Ah, jeez. Christ. Go fax yourself. Winky face. I don't appreciate being jump scared and then being told to go fax myself. Thanks, Dave. Or Samantha. Thanks, Samantha. Oh. You're gone. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> Pen and sticky notes. What the fuck am I gonna do with that? <laughs> what the facts? That's so mean. Reminds me of the time when North Korea was threatening South Korea when they sent them a very angry fax message. That's- that's what they said on the news. They sent a very angry fax message to South Korea. And we were all like, well, what does it say? They never told us. Thank the Lord for CCTV. Not only can I now catch shoplifters in the act, but thanks to my crafty intellect, I will never forget the code to my safe, for it is embedded, hidden away through the lens of a security camera. Great work, Anderson. Great work. All right, there is uh, four, one, five, an epileptic two. So that was four, one, five, two. Hell yeah. All right, we've got health, we've got speed, we've got stamina, and we've got stealth. Very nice. By the way, yeah, CCTV is kind of great. We have a guy at our store. He'll call you out on the PA. Embarrass you in front of the whole dang store. He'll be like, hey, what do you think you're doing? Put that cookie down. Put that cookie down now. Oh god, there's two of them? Dude is savage. Oh, we love that guy. I see it. How do we get up there? Oh. 
I can't get on top of that. Oh, you'll boost me. Okay. Thanks, pal. Alright, I got batteries. This looks weak. Jesus Christ. That should not shatter from one piece of glass. Actually, it's a mirror shard, so... Fans. But that is a good sound, though. Mirror. I'm so sorry. Leave me alone. Well, I can't do that. But I can give you discounts. Sale. Special prices. Up to 50% off. Shinitsu. Shinitsu. There's a lot of TVs here. Finish unpacking and neatly organize all the new Shinitsu TVs. See that nothing happens to the new Shinitsu XXL, that's our beautiful new crown jewel. Then turn everything on via the switch by the door, just make sure it's powered first. There was a lady recently that decided to go for internet clout. So, it, yeah. Yeah, I don't... Just with that alone, you know this is going to go badly. <laughs> she decided to go into a Walmart and just... annoy everybody, break things, and then she got kicked out. So she goes to another Walmart and smashes a TV. And they're like, oh, we don't sell that TV. Wrong woman. No, it's not Sniper Wolf! God dang it. No, this is someone different. Um, nothing. Ooh, fuse. But yeah, it's not Sniper Wolf. You gotta remember there's more than one terrible person at a time. <laughs> I get it. Sniper Wolf is the one that we're on right now. It's a fuse box. Thank God. What did that power on? Boop. Oh no. Wait, is that? Okay, never mind. Big judge being watched, being looked at. These are the things she tries so hard to escape from. They always turn to eyes on her. Oh, god damn it. Let me guess. Oh. I was gonna say eyeballs on the big TV, but you're creepy too. Can I turn this off? I'm just gonna pretend that that's someone's weird TV show. Look at this. I'm like, I, I'm like that. I'm like that little girl in the in, in, in that one horror movie. They're here. That one horror movie. I don't remember the name of. 
I thought it would turn off. Sorry about the epilepsy. I've been saying sorry about the epilepsy a lot lately. If it was about a cursed VHS tape that it's the ring, it's not the ring. It was like really late at night and the little girl comes in and she's watching the static TV and the mom comes in and she's like, yeah, what's going on? And then she turns slowly to look at her mom and she's like, they're here. I don't remember what the movie's called. It's not paranormal activity. Wait a minute. gonna leave that there. It's gotta be poltergeist. It, it it probably is. What if I just pull this fuse? Oh no, the TVs are still working. It's a fuse box. What about the button? What did that do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Is it that the one with the cursed Indian skull? No, the one with the cursed Indian skull was, uh... Wasn't that a book? I know, I know. I'm thinking of something different. This dumb book that I read in middle school. They made us read it. Reading books. Hello? I don't suppose I could just unplug this thing. Might have been Curse of the Crystal Skull. I'm not sure. What's behind the sign? Uh oh. Okay, never mind. Thought I got stuck. I have an idea. It's working. She doesn't like people looking at her. I made her mad. Hey, Virginia, how's it going? Hey! Get the fuck over here! <laughs> it's 
It is polterge poltergeist? Alright, cool. The world is better off without the broken. Then they bring pain and they inflict their pain on others. Are you broken as well? Maybe I am. Everyone's a little bit broken. Ow! Yeah, okay. No, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna go pull the fuse. There's one more mirror in the food department. Mom was making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. By fire, Dad would sleep all day. I stuffed him in the loading bay. In the attic, he had courage. Now my brother hides in storage. Me? I'm fine. I'm good. Then crash. And since I'm bad, I'm lifeless trash. Okay. Freezer, loading bay, storage, trash. There are rats in the vent above the electronics exhibit. That explains the smell. We can't open the exhibit until the vents are cleaned out. As they are directly above the staged mirror. Please enter the vents via the compressor room at the east wing and clear them. Anders, son of a bear. Help her reflect on this. Oh, they did a pun. Ooh, hoo, 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 they did a pun. Most of the new toys were lost in the crash. I'm keeping this area sealed and covering and covered until we get the new collection. Don't go in there. It's currently being used as storage. There are unopened boxes and a mirror in there. <gasps> a mirror. And creepy bad vibes. <gasps> Keys. I need a coin. Damn it! It's blocked from the other side. Hold the broken mirror up close. It sees more than you ever could. Face the mirror. Face your fears. It's a fuse box. Well, thank fuck for that. Wasn't there a mirror around here? Yep. I think we already got her attention, too. Okay, I wasn't even looking at you. Why? Because you're trying to kill me. Stop looking at me! Hey, Key, West Wing. Elysium State Park postcard. Price tag says one ninety nine. Nom. Milk. Stop looking at me! Stop trying to kill me. Exactly. You're hurting me. You're hurting me! Jeez, lady! You think I want to be here? Well, f okay, you know what? Fuck you too! Some people, I swear. Karen! The door to the west wing is locked. There's a keyhole. Ah, no! 
Why? I need that. It, oh, son of a bitch. It could be any one of these shopping carts. Uh, 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 uh. Chad! The shopping carts have gone crazy! They've got a mind of their own! You'd like to speak with the manager? I'd like to speak with your manager! And I'd like to speak with your mother. Tell her she should be embarrassed. She raised someone to act like a baby in public. <laughs> Lady, the manager doesn't know what's going on. Haven't you ever worked anywhere before? Upon arrival on the scene, the suspect had already self-inflicted a stab wound to her abdomen and a fatal wound across her neck. Paramedics were called and police tape was used to seal off the crime scene for investigation. Suspect was identified as Miss Virginia Rule, who apparently had issues being seen in public and her, or seeing her own reflection. She was pronounced probably dead. What? Determination. I have to admit, to stab yourself in the gut and still have enough determination. Anyway, uh. Ghost manager. Hey! Are you doing this? Is he- are you the one calling me? I need a name for you. I'm gonna call you... Bill. Yeah. Bill. Nice. <laughs> Trying to tell you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Found the doll. Be cool. huh. Oh shit. Uh, okay, I need a way out. Uh. Ooh, wait, you're walking towards me. What? What is that? Key? Thanks. Uh, uh. It's locked. There we go. Okay. Bill Nye the Science Ghost. Bill Nye the Science Ghost. Now that sounded more like Mr. Ed. Oh boy, Wilbur! Turn me into glue! I could have been Mr. Ed. I could have been a voice actor! Got him. Got him. So long, Bowser. I could have been Mario. Here we go. Yippee. Wahoo. I could have been Mario.
There's the doll. How do I get to it? Yo, the gate keeps getting sh stuck shut. Has to be some sort of electrical malfunction. In any case, remember that forklift trick I showed you? Do that. Just be careful. <gasps> it's the ignition key lock. I need a I need the keys to the forklift. Gay Bowser will remember that. That's what he says, though, in the game. He's like, when when he throws Bowser, he's like, so long, Gay Bowser. Plastic barrel, plastic barrel, plastic barrel, plastic barrel, cleaning supplies. Instructions are to leave it at the docks and let the locals take care of shipping. Someone's supposed to meet us there. Hell if I know. I can imagine Bowser is gay, TBH. And why is he trying to marry Peach? He wrote a song about it! He's like, Peaches, 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 peaches! I'm pretty sure that was the whole song. It was just peaches. That's the only word. <laughs> We're in rare form tonight. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wild Hedgehog, we're in rare form tonight. I was just singing peaches. That's a forklift key, isn't it? Nothing is free, including this key. I need a coin. I need money. Point Icarus postcard. Price tag says one dollar. Peaches song sounds like the TMNT theme. Peaches, 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 peaches. It just gets higher every time. Peaches, 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 peaches. Hold the broken mirror up. I don't have a mirror, lady. I'm trying, believe me! Ha! Employees only back here. You can't come back here. Ha ha! Yeah, see, she gave up. It's blocked from the other side. What about the maintenance east wing? Sing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I never got into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have a friend who was way into it, though. I mean, I can do the G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe! That's actually all I know, I'm sorry. I could have been Bowser! <laughs> Why is the supermarket haunted? Uh, because uh, Karen came in here and busted up all the TVs and uh, then killed herself. <laughs> Doesn't like being in public. Doesn't like looking in the mirror. So we've been throwing mirrors at her and she's been breaking them. She's up to about 40 years worth of bad luck. It's like a parody of the My Little Pony theme by singing. 
It's an item scanner. Uh, I think this was a dollar. Four dollars. Okay, we gotta do math. One ninety-nine and one dollar. We got two ninety-nine worth of postcards. Two fifty. If I can find like one more dollar, we could get the three ninety-nine. Two dollars for a postcard, though. Come on. I mean, Wild Hedgehog, like, we've all done parodies of, uh, the My Little Pony theme. Who could forget? And Celestia sits on her ass all day. Found a 50 cent one. Low prices! $500 for a TV! I think we already said this, uh, Black Friday, can we please, pretty, pretty, please, stop it with the, uh, Black Friday deals on big screen TVs, I mean, I have four big screen TVs in my house, maybe even five, like, we're good on the big TVs. How about some discounts on food? Can we do that? One ninety nine, one dollar and fifty cents. Want to buy 50 inch TV? No, it's fine. Two dollars, okay. Where's that 251? Here we go. It's the item scanner. It's an item scanner. Ha ha! Got a coin. Five bucks, let's see here. Three. Wait a minute. One ninety nine, two ninety nine. I could get three ninety nine. I can't get four dollars. I can get three ninety nine. By combining the the one ninety nine with the two dollars. Ha ha. I have two radios, one from the 30s and one from the 50s. They don't work, though. I have one radio. I keep it in my bag because it hooks into my helmet speaker while I'm riding. It's got a little antenna. Delightful little thing. Anyway, let's go win that crane game. I have a 20s record player that still works? Of course it still works. Vinyl made a comeback. Antique collecting is my hobby. It's a good hobby. Antiques are interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now strap in tight and get the fuck out of the way. Because this guy's on a rampage. They tried to kill me with a forklift. Ole! Ho 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 ho!
Cut me a break. I don't get a lot of chances to do that joke. Got him. Whoop. Hold on, sir. I gotta reload. I said I gotta reload. Thanks. That's what happens when you aren't forklift certified. Yeah, I could have done the forklift certification joke, but I went with the Mystery Science Theater thing. I don't get a lot of jokes. I don't get a lot of chances to say they tried to kill me with a forklift. It's a very, very niche joke. I don't get a lot of chances to do it. <gasps> the trash room. It's where the trash is. Ooh. Taking statements from co-workers and shoppers, it seems Miss Rule had a panic attack which resulted in the accidental breaking of a mirror due to the mishandling of the situation by people around her at the time. A quick escalation resulted in Miss Rule taking her own life using a shard of broken mirror glass. There's no evidence of foul play, though I suspect she might have been in relations with a staff member named David. We'll go back for questioning. Mm-hmm. Here we go again. What was it you wrote in her file? None of your damn business. <laughs> hey! I swear to God, yellow coat guy! Found the trash girl. She's the trash girl. Hmm? How dramatic. She did call herself trash. I don't know why you're so surprised. Uh, no, I was making fun of the Danny DeVito thing. I'm the trash man. I go out and I throw trash all over the all over the ring. And then I start eating garbage. It's a Sunny and Philly episode. They tried to start a wrestling show, and this is what Danny DeVito came up with. <laughs> what the heck do you want? You called me first. Okay, how do we arrange these? Mom was making dinner, but now she's in the freezer. Okay, so put her in the kitchen. There is no kitchen! This bedroom, this bathroom, there's a... Another bedroom? Oh wait, there's more than one angle to this. Okay, this is a very elaborate dollhouse. It's a small rounded slot. Okay. By fire, Dad would sleep all day. Put him by the fireplace. In the attic, he had courage. Can't reach that one. Hang on. There we go. Me? I'm fine. I'm good. Then crash. Probably something to do with the broken mirror and the blood. Well, that's not creepy at all. That was the day. She pulled the mirror off its hinges, putting on her mother's makeup. The taste of blood and lipstick stayed at her mouth until the very end. Keep finding rare Pokemon. Go to battle me soon before I accidentally leave you. Don't worry, Lee. I won't. It's a yellow block with the letter T on it. They were right. This area is creepy. H. 
Ugh. I hate balloons! I hate balloons so much. Balloons explode. Very suddenly and without warning. They have the- they have the ability to give me a tiny bit of fright and that terrifies me. This robot follows you. A. Oh, what happened? Robot fall down and it, and explode? Jeez. A little dramatic. Isn't it? Hate balloons because of Pennywise? No, I hate balloons because they explode very suddenly and without warning. Well, we found the last mirror. Hated. I can put something in here. The H probably has to go here because mirror image. Hmm. Yay! Oh, you heard that, huh? All right, where are you at? Broken. Your face is broken. <laughs> really? I'm over here. dramatic much anyway I think the staff finally showed up we were like okay we're gonna have to ask you to leave she wanted to die only someone as selfish as you would try and take that away from her I'm glad to see you failed man fuck you aren't I a psychiatrist it's my job to prevent this shit Hey. It's okay. I see you. You can rest now. Thank you. Okay. I don't think Virginia would be capable of doing something like this without some sort of outside influence. I promise you, Miss Rule, I'll get to the bottom of this. Ain't you forgetting something? Yeah, I was gonna look around, don't worry. Now that we can uh, go around the store without being killed by a spooky spook. I wanted to grab, um... What was in here? There is a box of it's pills in there. The coin slot. Nice. That's the third one. That one's open. That one's open. Okay, so we need more coins. For that, we need five bucks. I've got two, three... I think it has to be exact change, though. Four bucks. I might be able to do that. If I can find another 50 cent one... Wait, we might be able to cheese it. It's an item scanner. It's the item scanner. Whoops. Hang on. 
One, two, three, five bucks. How do I know it was four bucks? My bad. Two, three. Okay, yeah, that works. Sometimes uh, what cashiers will do is they'll, if you have a lot of the same thing, they'll just take one of them and go boop, 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 all with the same one, and then just slide all of them into the bag. Did I just eat cat food? Tastes like crap. Yeah, I think I just ate cat food. No regrets. It's a coin slot. Wait, wait, wait. what? Ah! Shit! I didn't think it would be that bright. Is that me? Also, who's that behind me? Will there be another mystery VTube theater? We're trying, but the schedules keep not lining up. Who the fuck is this guy? Who keeps fucking with me? No, eating cat food does not give you cat ears. That only happens when you get the cat power up. Haven't you played Mario? <laughs> Where was the la- Oh, wait, it was the vending machine, wasn't it? I remember now. a small coin slot. It swallowed the coin, but nothing happened. I think I know why. Being cat boy would make you more popular on the internet. I'm not putting the cat ears on. Wait, that's the hallway. So turn this off. Turn this on. Well, the thing's out of it now, so, uh, turn it back off again. Increase speed. There's one more thing of pills left. I don't know where it is. <sighs> yeah. 
Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes. We are completely out of toilet paper. The whole world is out of toilet paper, ma'am. No. No, we can't let you in the store without a mask. Why do you think you would why do you think you would have special privilege? Yes. Yes, they put pickles on the Whopper. That recipe hasn't changed in like 80 years. I'm looking for batteries now. It's having PTSD for the from the retail job. The night they announced that schools were going to be closed for two weeks. That was the night the manager on duty called me. Like, an hour before I was supposed to go in. And he was like, we need you there, we need you here early. And I was like, I can probably guess why. And I was there over time, and did not get a break. Because it was really, really bad. Hey, you know what else? I didn't fucking complain. I could see that- I could- uh, Anyone with eyes could see it was chaos. Like, that's not the moment to complain about not getting a break. That is the moment to step up. That was important. <laughs> Ma'am, 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 yes, you need to wear a mask. No, we are not infringing your rights by denying you entry because you won't wear a mask. There is a mask mandate, you have to wear one. But ma'am, 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 if you call the cops on us, they are not going to come and help you. They're going to agree with us! Why would you think that would get you anywhere? No! Sir! We still do not have any toilet paper! You have to come in at 5 a.m. to get toilet paper! Guys, I think being here is doing something to me. I got- I got- I, I gotta leave. I gotta go. I don't think we're getting that last thing of pills. I just- I- I- I gotta go. Kid, my mom, she used to 
signed me up for like little miss whatever the hell you know oh god these beauty pageants for this one i was practicing at home and i was in the bathroom just playing with like some of my mom's makeup and and then i sorry take your time Oh no, she was on toddlers and tiaras. I just slipped. I don't know. I lost my balance and I grabbed the mirror cabinet and the whole thing just fell apart. I hate her. My mother. She made me go anyway. Made you go where? Out. To the pageant. To school. Everywhere. With a busted up face and stitches. She's a monster and a liar. She told me I was still pretty. She said people wouldn't judge me. Guess what? They did. They look at me with pity. I look back at them with hatred. I hate her. I hate everyone. I understand. Okay, but you still have to wear a mask. No! No, you don't have a medical condition that prevents you from wearing a mask. That is not a real thing. We don't care if you forgot your mask. Go get one. You're not getting in without one. <sighs> I swear. Ooh, what do we got here? Her case file. Door's locked. Desmond? Huh? Darling? What? Who said that? Was that you? Why, I did, of course. Uh, how? You can talk now? I mean, you could argue that I always could, and you just didn't care to listen. Uh, no, I will not argue that. Let's not waste any more time on how unbelievable this all may be and tackle the situation at hand. You are going to die, Desmond, if you do not get to the bottom of all this madness. Simply, you must keep a level head and find a way through this. I will help you as best as I possibly can. But you're a cat. Now, concentrate. We might have some answers. I, I, I don't know. This is weird. Patience, you're telling me. Desmond. Patience and grace. Patience? Uh, my patience. Don't you find it curious? You can enter Virginia's apartment and she doesn't even live here. Something strange is happening. You would benefit from knowing what that is. It sounds like a plan. I'll be here. Alright, thanks. Cat. I'm a talking cat. Remember that movie? The talking cat? Wasn't there something we could cut in here? Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're going to jail. <laughs> Those of you who came in late, it is illegal to broadcast that sound. No dice. 
Which one? There's so many. It's literally a movie called A Talking Cat. John Tron did it. John Tron reviewed the movie. For the lulls. Anyway, with this piece of mirror, I think we could get in the basement area now. Go down there and get the gas mask. Increased style. Oh, whoa. Okay, not going that way. Got it. Straps are broken. I'll have to hold it. God damn it. And I have no memory of such movie. It's real. Okay, now we're actually gonna have to use it. They have a better lifespan than this. Clearly, this is a game made by someone who has never worn a gas mask. Going back to the pandemic, I wore one of these. Like everybody had everybody had to wear a mask. This was my mask. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys about this. I definitely have told you about how I wore a gas mask through the whole pandemic. And they let me do it. My co-worker came in with a plague mask and they were like, Okay, no, you took it too far. The gas mask? That is hilarious. This, this is too much. Oh, that was another thing people would ask me. No! No, I, I- You can't buy the gas mask! They closed the store because of the pandemic! <laughs> Can I get through this? I don't want to move forward. Oh, you don't want to! Oh, wah. <sighs> I don't want to go- Man, I don't want to go that way. This is just dark, and I'm real tired, and my feet hurt real bad. This is an old gas mask. Reminds me of the one Adrian Shepard wore in Half-Life Opposing Force. Mine doesn't have the filter off to the side like that. Mine's like the center. So far, we've learned that change is inevitable. You either get with the times, or the world changes without you. Yeah, Karen! Where- Wait, where am I? What? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> what? Ooh, scary. World does not revolve around you, Karen. <laughs> why is there a mirror here? That's what I wanted to know. That's why I came in here. None of these doors open either. Why is there a mirror here? Why is there a mirror here? Why is there a mirror here? 
Somebody remembered Adrian Shepard exists. Uh, of course. Opposing force was great. Blue shift was also good, but it was real short. Like, I beat that in a single day. Wait a minute. Now what is that? Uh -huh. Oh, it's locked. Bathroom. I spoke of running a Rorschach test. Have you done one before? No, but I've seen it in movies. You show me a picture and I say what it makes me feel. I show you an ink blot and you tell me what it might look like. Shall we do a few? Sure. First image. A flower, but it's broken. Mm. I see Slenderman standing under a chandelier, a chandelier and he's got really big feet. Give me another one. <laughs> Second image. Crowded auditorium. Third image. Two people fighting. Fourth image. What might this be? A monster with six arms like snakes. I'm sorry. I just sound incredibly stupid. Not at all. There are no wrong answers, Virginia. How does this lasting plot make you feel? Powerful. End transcript. Is this what Slenderman does his time off or he's not haunting the woods? Oh shit, that's another game we have to play. Slender the Arrival is getting an update. A really, really big one. I don't know why. When's the last time anybody gave a shit about Slender Man? No, we're not checking out Slender the Eight Pages. That one's actually bullshit. Bullshittingly hard. Slenderman can kill you if you somehow win the game. I've since actually watched Marble Hornets. You should too. It's good. I'd say let's conserve this stuff, but we have a lot of bullets now, so... What's in the box? Forgot about that? Yeah. Sl Sl Slender Man's a cheeky bastard. He hasn't been relevant in a really long time. The most relevant he's gotten is when we reviewed the movie, which was me complaining about how irrelevant he is. Alan's house. <gasps> Alan! 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 I like Alan's house so far. Tape! <gasps> Doc Wells told me to write, so I'm writing, even though I don't want to write. What I want to do is scream at people. A woman by the lighthouse today told her meathead boyfriend I was looking at her funny, and he punched me in the gut. I wish I could bury both of them in the ground. Well, you can't, but you could call the cops on that guy. That is an arrestable offense. That's public assault. He could go to jail for that. Among the sleep. I think I've heard of that. We 
save this now, don't we? It's not actually this hard to see out of a gas mask, by the way. It has a small coin slot. Like, it, 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 it's one of the... Gas masks in video games are weird because they always make your vision worse. They are actually not as bad as video games make them out to be. It is actually extremely easy to see out of a gas mask. I speak from personal experience, of course. Yeah, the update is out on Friday, I think. No, wait, the 18th is not Friday. It's oh, it's Wednesday, which is already occupied by Callisto Protocol. Finally, we get to stream Callisto Protocol. Actually make fun of that game because it's quite awful. Well, it's made by the guys who made Dead Space, but... Hello, scary voice guy. I want to play a little game. In the room where you are, you have to beat yourself in a skit in a staring contest. And if you don't, if you don't, gas will fill the room. See, I can be annoying on the phone too. <laughs> Is there a link between Virginia and Alan? I wouldn't rule it out. I guess I'm about to find out. Be careful, Desmond. Okay, cat. Here we go again. Oh wait, wait. It's my record player. Okay, now I'm starting to see where Living Tombstone came into it. That's pretty good. Why'd you stop? Huh? <laughs> Once more onto the bridge. Watch yourself out there. Uh, this is a silly game. This is very prone to earthquakes. I think I'm dying. Okay, Mr. Shore, tape's running. Thank you for agreeing to be recorded. Oh, um, should I just start talking? What do you want to know? Uh, what made you decide to seek counseling? Ah, oh, man, Doc, it's just, it's just weird. As in, I feel weird, like, I, like I'm weird all the time, you know? I'm not saying this right, people think I'm weird, and it's cool, I am, but I, I shouldn't feel weird, right? Being weird is normal, I think. Everybody's weird. How exactly do you feel weird? Off, on, slightly tilted. Uh, I've had these nightmares ever since I can remember. I've always had these horrific dreams I can't explain. They recur. And, like, there are themes in them that keep coming back, and uh, honestly, Doc, it's been such a constant that I shape my life around them, you know? Okay. So 
Got the next one. Have you ever seen anyone about these recurring nightmares? Like a shriek like you? No. Honestly, for the longest time I thought it was normal life to wake up sweating, to see things in the dark, frightful things. What is it that frightens you, Alan? See, see, that's the thing I don't get. My, my whole life I could feel the presence of shadows. I could hear sorrow in the dark. It's poetic, man. I know. I, I got so used to being paralyzed by dread that I, I began to like it. And people notice, you know, I, I, I say weird stuff sometimes, I guess. At some point, I just decided to live comfortably in this reality, maintaining a beacon of light over a sea of darkness, alone and afraid. But I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I'm being swallowed by darkness or sinking in the depths. It makes me feel alive, man. It's electric. Well, you sound more sane than the girl, at least. Coastline. Abandoned supermarket reminds me of Kmart. <laughs> it's funny because Kmarts are all dead. <laughs> My neighbor... The neighborhood near us had one of the last seven Kmarts in existence. Look at you, Mr. Private Detective. What do you think is behind all this? Bigfoot? Aliens? Big bad government officials? Shed some light on the situation, why don't you? Okay. Flashlight. Hopefully Kmart will return. Why hopefully? No. Kmart refused to adapt and they died. No, Blockbuster is not coming back. They don't have they, they don't have a business anymore. There is no need to rent out DVDs or Blu-rays. Everything is online. Toys R Us barely came back. And then COVID hit. <laughs> the lights. I have to restore it. Whoa. Uh, okay, avoid that. Yes, Netflix is dying because that is the natural order. There's a song about it. Heroes will die and kingdoms will fall, reaching an ending once and for all. The world keeps on turning long after we're gone. Yes, it will live on all we depend upon. Both the light and the dark will hurt you. Perhaps, like him, you should get a job at the lighthouse, alone and afraid. You can't call phone booths. In Greek mythology, <laughs> it's getting shorter each time.
Why'd you hang up on me? I wanted to talk about Greek mythology. Dang it. <laughs> no, VHS doesn't need to come back. VHS cheated. They have armor now? That's not fair. Here, just stand on this. They'll get confused and die. Pretty good. VHS is cheaper than streaming? No, it isn't, and the picture is terrible. You realize VHSs are, like, locked at 360p, right? Also, Laserdisc was the superior format. Ow! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. I'm hurting bad. Real bad. Oh, what fresh hell is this? VHS has nostalgia. No, no, it doesn't. It's just a lot of bad memories from the format wars. As he climbed. <laughs> All right, hang on. I want to get in here. <laughs> How often do I think about the Roman Empire? Not often. It's not really something that I think about. Learned about him in school, though. They did pretty good. On Monday last week, we at Virgil County Gazette found out that an ominous call had been made to local police. The caller on the other side of the line did not identify himself, but after some investigating, we believe it might have been Milton Haven's Alan Shore. Lighthouse operator at the beloved Patmos Bay. Ask any county local and... Hmm. Betamax was a superior format to VHS. So was Laserdisc. Laserdisc should make a comeback. Those things are cool. Laserdisc was not killed by DVDs. Laserdisc was killed by VHS. VHS killed all of them. Sorry, mate. You gotta get your facts straight about the format wars. Deforestation is responsible for a third of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Icarus Lighthouse, authorized to be constructed by President Harrison in 1889 and completed in 1891 at the cost of $22,300. That was a lot of money back then. When the lighthouse was completed, it stood 300 feet from the edge of the cliff. The sandstone tower is 28 feet in diameter, of an octagonal shape, and 80 feet to the lantern. Any who... Also, who cares? We're all going to die sooner or later, and these facts mean nothing. Are you even sure that you're really standing here and reading this? Maybe this is some sort of horrific fever dream. 
Here's a random number. 300,000. Alan Shore was buried alive by the government. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Dangerous chemical and biological agents have been detected in the area. Lights to combat the shade. Okay. We are friends, Alan. I'm here to help you, Alan. The door leading to the courtyard is locked. The maniac probably melted the keys to all those doors along with his damned house. When management hears about it, it's going to be your ass. Get someone to go in there and fish them out if they still exist. I'm not setting foot in there. The whole thing seems unstable and smells of burnt human flesh. Signed, Agent, Agent something. The light. We can fight the darkness, it's who we are. There's a new light coming. Finally had enough, finally waking up to who we are becoming. <laughs> Where are these damn fuses? Hey! <laughs> hey! I'm gonna die out here, guys. Can't find no fuses. I have an idea, though. It didn't work. Here, stand at this light. The door no luck. Wait, give me this fuse. Put it here. Ow! Why does it get to hurt me while I'm on top of it? Let's not. Oh, you don't like oh, you don't like it when I stand here, do you? That's fine by me. Nope, 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 nope. It's a fuse box. All right, we got that one lit up. Try that one. There it is. The house he burned down. Because you keep fucking with the lights, guy.
guy. Work with me. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. Take a look at yourself through the looking glass and see how shrouded in darkness a mind like Alan's could be. It's out of fuel. This doesn't work. Oh, I feel shivers down my spine. Am I stuck? Right. Mm-hmm. The lantern is off. It's an old oil lantern. Okay, so we need a bigger light source. I was in the tower when it happened. I took the route down the cliffs and to the boathouse, falling as I fumbled around, unable to see. It's no use. We need more oil. All the nightmares I'd had to date, this must be the worst. My light went out and there was an accident. Oh god, it's all my fault. Yeah. It's out of fuel. It's like when the power goes out. This game and the voice acting reminds me of Alan Wake. You know, I'm getting the same vibes. Because Alan Wake was also a very silly game. Broken glass everywhere. The lantern is off. Nice. That ship is death. It bears death's name. I managed to find one of those flare guns from inside the belly of the beast. I'm not afraid to use it. Hi. Okay. The monster I was told that I was making up had now stepped forth out of the shadows. any update on the list of games? Not yet. It has gotten longer, though. Don't worry. We usually cap it at 50. Enemies could probably hear you. There is only one enemy, and he's stuck outside right now. It's blocked by darkness. Oh, no. It's dark. Oh. I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to reach off. through the dark. Uh, it's real dark in there. It's an old oil lantern. It's out of fuel. I don't want to step any closer. Okay, where is the? Oh. Let's see, how am I supposed to see that? By my li- Whoa. Ah! Hey! Dude, come on! I was just trying to read some notes. <sighs> well, okay, that's just rude. Got the key, though. It's 
what I thought. The door leading to the courtyard is locked. He has to fight the darkness, but he's afraid of the light. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't anymore. Your logic is flawed, Mr. Darkman. Agent Redacted, instructions are to take all highly flammable containers of Redacted from the bay where the Redacted and move them indoors. No smoking, flare guns, or explosives near this crap. Keep an eye on that driver smoking around the transport. If he gives you Redacted about it, arrest him. I was trying to hang it up at the first word. <laughs> In a world... Hello? Ah, shit. Why did I predict this? I need those other two fuses. Excuse me a second. to say, don't tell me you gave up out here. No, you won't. Shut up. <laughs> it's a fuse box. Ooh, what do we have here? There's a ship. Not much else. This is kind of worthless. Ignoring his father's instructions not to fly too close to the sun and it, in turn, melting the wax off his wings, Icarus fell out of the sky and into the ocean, where he found his death at the hands of his hubris. Want to go down there and poke at a dead body? Unfortunately, Icarus and his father had a catastrophically poor understanding of astrodynamics, flight, and... Astrodynamics, flight, and heat convection. Because flying higher actually made things colder. The wax did not melt off his wings. And instead, he fucking froze to death out there. Where the hell did we go from here? He blocked our way forward. Oof. I don't suppose jumping is a good option here. Apparently I could just go around it. Uh, no. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, uh, uh. Got it. Ow. Okay. 
That almost fell off the damn cliff. I will not! Yeet! Yeeting on him. I just yoded on him. No, you won't. Even if I can't swim. Ah! Fucker! Ow! That hurt! What if I was low on health? You'd have killed me! Okay. Uh, boathouse, not structurally stable. Oh no. Gotta get to that crank. Pretty good. I should sit in the boat first. There's good. It pops out if I turn it too tight. Oh wait, what's that one? There's a door there. Good news is, I think he gave up at throwing things at us. Lowering a small boat into the water is a two-man job. Do not attempt to lower the boat on your own. Once a person is safely in the boat, a second person will use the crank to slowly lower the boat down to the water. Wait, I just had an idea. Just turn it one more time. Yes, yes, I know. Now, how do I get up there? Ah! Okay, I didn't think it's that would work. Wheel. something with that, though. How 
the fuck do we do this? I liked the idea of holding it open. I'll come back for this if I need it. Oh, you won't. We're never coming back here. Okay, but what if I... How about I do anyway? There we go. Oh, wow. He really did a number on this place. I should sit in, I should sit in the boat first. You are sitting in the boat. It's a base for a crank wheel. Oh, this actually is a two-person job. Ah! That's not how you say it! Ugh. It's pronounced... Bon Voyage? They can shoot now. Ugh. R slash English. Yeah. It it's word crimes. <laughs> like, have you ever have you ever uh, like been talking to someone and they're like, oh I could care less about what you think. That means you do care at least a little. You know, actually, yeah, that's true. You say R slash English, but that is French. Shut up. Stand over here. Oh, now he has armor. Y'all are gonna make me use all my bullets! Oh shit. Look at the way this guy walks, too. Oh, I'm hobbling my way over to you! And then he hobbles his way over to you. New orders, blow it up, redacted. In case they haven't already left for the storage elsewhere. If the barrels are flammable, stack them up and redacted to hell. Try and contain it to areas that will block access to redacted. This includes big redacted. Seal this area shut. No redacted witnesses. Signed redacted. I'm sorry, sir, the instructions you sent me weren't clear. What do you mean? Well, half the dang thing was redacted. Did you mean send all the barrels to Mexico? No, I did not mean that. Oh dear. Uh, we're gonna have a problem then. Why? Because I sent all the barrels to Mexico. You did what? Hmm? Something is 
mechanism right with these waters. <laughs> Can't reach it. Damn it. <sighs> How do I get that? Jerks. Glass. These murky waters are not an accurate reflection of this bay. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. The elephant graveyard? Uh, no, whales. Whale graveyard. This is where the whales live. And die. Mostly die. Got something in my eye. Hang on. Uh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that's better. USS Thanatos. Nope, they gotta be blown open. Stay the redacted out of Thanatos. It's not safe. There is a major redacted. That stuff is everywhere. It's redacted, highly dangerous, flammable, and redacted as a kite in, the, in a matter of minutes. The captain and crew were medevaced to redacted redacted. Up we go. Nope. Definitely not. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Well, at least it raised the shipping container. We could get back around. Thanatos doesn't want you here. You hear that, guys? You have to stop making Thanos jokes. Stranger. Stranger and stranger.
This is a lot of stuff. Hmm. A whole lot. Oh boy. I think I inhaled too many fumes. Very high right now. Eh. Realizing that you're high is a good first step, though. Huh? Eh. This one keeps changing color. I need a key. Big key. Hmm. Where's the big key? Okay, you're gonna ignore that. Ooh, big key. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Video surveillance. Oh, the government. Government came and took my baby. Okay. We're out of that nightmare. I think we were in a box the whole time. Is that a radio I hear? The reason it's giving you Gmod uh, uh, vibes is because there's a million cargo ship maps. Well, maybe Alan worked on ships. Lights going crazy. Wait, the ship is moving. Something's wrong. Isn't red. I can't even see the lighthouse. Think. The, sun melted. the sun melted. Ow! Wait, hold on. Good. Here goes nothing. Boom. 
Nice. I think I have a theory. Titanic 4 is now in production, but the ship's not named Titanic, it's named Thanatos. This is not the first game where the flare gun was a ridiculously powerful weapon. The first one was Alan Wick. What do you mean move out? Man, fuck you. Okay, that's real good. Ow. Stop it! <sighs> Probably make a Santa toast too. Please no. Don't give them ideas. I think we could get off the ship now. There were a few dark areas that might lead forward. So, theory time? I think it's theory time. Our boy, Alan, was the lighthouse keeper, right? But something screwed up, he didn't do his job, and the light went out, and the ship crashed. You see that? Anyway, yeah, that's the current theory. It's also USS Thanatos. USS? That designation is only reserved for military vessels. So this was obviously a military cargo ship. big government carrying secret corrosive materials all hush hush and the like and that's probably why the government here is here trying to clean it up <laughs> worth it flare gun was powerful in TF2 no it wasn't it was okay what I meant, what I meant by powerful weapon is, it's the ultimate weapon. In Alan Wake, it was the ultimate weapon because the whole thing about that game was light. Like you had to expose the enemies in that game to a lot, a lot of light before you could actually hurt them with guns. And the flare gun was, just a tool that you could use to kill them outright. I'm lost. I'll say it. I'm lost. Maybe that lamp post there has something to do with it. Oh, 
he went down with one. Okay. I'm gonna waste my bullets. Okay, to be fair, that that was a dust. That that it, it was missing most of its supports. It was structurally unsound. It was gonna come down anyway, probably. <laughs> the van, on the other hand, uh. Did not appreciate that. It's blocked from the other side. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh look, bullets. How do we get rid of these? Ooh. Oh, it works. I think we gotta get there. Release the brakes on the container crane wheel. Oh, that goes right back up automatically. My next question was going to be how long. Oh, fuck off. Let me just grab that key before I lose it. <sighs> Why do monsters have lights on their bodies? That's where we have to aim. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. You're never going to figure this out on your own, so I'll do the thinking for you. If you want to get over the fence and out of the wharf, You'll have to get high. This way leads to the top of the crane. Does anybody have any weed? Ugh. I got two of them. Two out of three ain't bad. I'm not insane. I'm in sound mind. That's the name of the game. In sound mind. I'm not crazy. Okay, there's no save function. It's all my patients who are crazy. Imagine if the psychiatrist was crazy. Oh no, my psychiatrist needs a psychiatrist. God, these patients are driving me insane! The last one said that uh, the last one hijacked a helicopter. <laughs> and he thought it would be a great idea to buzz the tower at the airport, which is actually super illegal. Where'd you even learn to fly a helicopter anyway? Well, it turns out 
uh, dock when it's not being flown by one of your fancy computer players. It's actually kind of hard to do. Holy crap. That's a lot of flares. Refreshing. Oh dear god. You've got to be kidding me. I haven't been this nervous about platforming since we played, uh... What was that one game? Only Up. Yeah, that one. Ricky, come on. I'm supposed to move all this chemical bullshit to the roof of the warehouse? What the hell for? It took an hour just to move the first few. What kind of job is this anyway? I thought they wanted the shipment to go to the quarry. From Mike. You know what, Mike? Shut up. You, you, you know you make five figures a year, right? You're a crane operator. Crane operators get paid the big bucks. Ugh. Nice. That was totally optional, apparently. I think we gotta turn the crane. How do we do that? Well, we don't do it with that for some reason. So, how do we get there? I missed. Hang on. Nailed it. Oh, shit. He's throwing furniture at me again. Uh, nope, I'm good. Ugh. Hey guys, I figured out how to move the crane! <sighs> I'll come back for this if I need it. <sighs> that fall's probably gonna hurt me. Okay, no. Just barely, I am fine. It is extremely dark in here, though. Oh, my God, I'm all kinds of lost. Past it, please. I think he just walked into a flare. Need more flares, by the way. I need him to destroy these boxes. No! 
Dude, eat the boxes. Don't make me fucking useless. I can't see where I'm going. time. Why? Because you're trying to kill me. That might have something to do with it. Finally. Okay, bye. See, I'm not sure if it was the fact that uh, he crashed a ship. Because what's with the burrowing part? If you need to restart the gantry crane brakes, you're going to need three fuses. You can get them at the garage, at the back of the left storage shed. If you still need more, you can steal one from the generator if it's not in use. These cheap bastards need to buy us more equipment, I swear. Can't carry any more of this. Okay, but I'm gonna run around real quick, grab a few flares. Dude, leave the cars alone. Ugh. That's all the flares. Good. Pretty good. Oh yeah, and you will, buddy, don't worry. But I ain't it, so leave me alone, please. Oh yeah, you will. Oh wait, I can jump that. Yes! Gonna use it against him real quick. Yeah, the flare is like poison to him. Back shed, okay. One flare, batteries, fuse. Change of plans. Due to the redacted mishandling of the shipment, we're going to have to contain as much agent redacted and focus on damage control. I have a civilian driver that collided with traffic not a minute after leaving with this redacted. I'm widely uncomfortable with these dock workers and local hires handling this stuff, but orders are now to store redacted barrels in various locations around Redacted, including Redacted, Redacted, Redacted Park. Sign Redacted. It's just like a rat, an annoyance until you poison them. I shot a cricket with a BB gun earlier. Like, not one hour before starting stream. Oh yeah, he heard that. Can't possibly take that whole truck. Holy crap, he took the whole truck. Dip, dip. <laughs> 
Yo, Mickey, who keeps putting boxes outside my garage vent? I need the ventilation or I'll suffocate on paint and gas fumes. <gasps> gas. Who's gonna fix your boats and such then, huh? Let that sink in. Or let your boat sink. Oh. I've got an idea. Whoops. Uh, my idea just went out the window. Fuse box. Let's see here. Where did he go? There he is. Throw him over here. Nice. out there. Alright, well, you see, I had this plan where you get rid of those boxes for me and then I leave. It's a fuse box. Okay. We have a crane. Wonder what could be on that computer. Uh, you know, minesweeper, free cell. It's like solitaire, but with very, very few unsolvable shuffles. buddy. I gotta leave. <sighs> okay. Seriously? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, he can still throw.
Ow. Okay, where are we going? My eyes. The goggles do nothing. How did this place get this way? Uh, mental neglect. Not looking out for your mental well-being. And he fell down the stairs and his shoes fell off. Also, he is throwing cars at me. Reminiscent of our uh, sessions where he threw cars at me. Jesus Christ. This is just normal therapy, you know? Okay. Oh, come on. Clock. What is that, a buoy? And TV. When I wish in high school, I used to hide in the dark room. I wasn't even in the photography club. The red light soothed me. It was the key to my sanity. We're gonna have to talk about your issues. Wait. Did he just say wait? <laughs> Case of Alan Shore, the lighthouse keeper, suspect suspected of setting the fire that consumed parts of Icarus Point, continues to be a hot button issue. Alan's a pretty strange dude, but setting a fire to his own house, I don't know if he's capable of doing something like that, said Frankie Nielsen. An official press release by Milton Haven Police Department asserts that Alan used a flare gun to start the fire, and that the case is currently being investigated as a failed suicide attempt. The reporter, however, has his doubts. Why would Alan have a flare gun in his possession, an item more commonly found on ships out at sea than at a lighthouse? Water gets muddled even further when considering Alan's call to the police shortly before the incident, which mentioned men in black going to and from the ship crash site at Patmos Beach. Did Alan see something he shouldn't have? Or is he just the product of a mentally unstable man's imagination? Only Alan Shore can answer these questions, and he may never wake again. Okay, so Alan isn't dead. He's in a coma. Oh, dear. Red static. I had a nightmare where I went to that new superstore and a lady with blood coming out of her neck threw glass at me. I might not have been dreaming. It's unclear. I haven't slept in three days. Mm. It is a buoy. Okay. Not sure how that got here. And the last one was a clock. At 12.10. No time to think about it. <laughs> currently 4.49 p.m. and I am at Icarus looking out into the vast ocean and I'm sad. I don't know why. 
Sadness found a home in my chest. It moved in with all of its stuff, and it lives there now. This is dumb. Doc said I should let it out, eat, and let it out when I feel like I have something to say out loud, but my throat hurts right now. I just want to say that I'm sad. I'm saying it, and I don't know who this is for. I'm saying it to the ocean. I'm sad. There. Do whatever you want with it. The ocean says yes. all chained I guess not oh I know okay buoy key clock key TV key yes that's exactly what I can do There be an elevator or a ladder, that'd be cool. Eesh. Okay, I gotta get outside. Shit, it's moving faster. And now it's moving the other way. Do I have to empty into you? Ow. It's moving as fast as I am. Okay. That cost me pretty much all of my health. And most of my bullets. <sighs> okay. Let's just... Here. Time to shed some light. Eh. Oh, shit. Of course, no power. I need to figure out a way to restore power. Please tell me I don't gotta go all the way back down. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, come on, man. Stop it, you know? You reap what you sow. Finish what you started, Desmond. Alright, I will. Hold on. He owes me health food. Generator has been showing signs of decay. Sometimes, if it's off after cleaning, it needs a push to help it get going. Oddly enough, I can relate. Of course. Of fucking course.
Ellen. You down here, buddy? He probably will be. Give him a minute. I have no idea what that noise is, by the way. Wait. Okay, so there's gonna be- there are flares by the generator. The box is exploding. It just sounds like a person screaming. This also didn't help. Oh. I didn't see the door, my bad. Who the fuck? I swear to God. This is Alan again. Oh. Got it. Alan, no. What the, uh. Okay, so we gotta hustle back to the beginning. The trouble is, I don't remember the way back. So too long. Alan, I'm gonna need your help on this. You gotta eat some boxes for me. Too slow. Alan, we were too slow. Alan, Alan. I'm really trying with you, okay? God, come on! Generator is up. <sighs> I want those things. Hang on. Get them now. Okay, now... Let's, uh, go upstairs. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! the source. You're braver than you know. Alan's madness came on just as suddenly as Virginia's did. I have no doubt their cases are linked. I need to follow the chemical trail. See where it takes me. Okay. So we have 
an idea as to what might be causing this. Did someone just die by light? Alan isn't dead, he's in a coma. Virginia is dead. There were powerful hallucinogenics on that ship, and they got out. And then the government tried to cover it up, and they did such a catastrophic job of that, that everybody got high. As a result, Virginia became a Karen and tore up a store. And Alan tried to burn his house down. Not bad. Okay, okay, the pieces are coming together. We're gonna have to bring this game back. Why the heck did he try to burn his house down? I don't know. Why don't we see if we can find out? You've reached the office of Dr. Desmond Wales. Please leave a message after the tone. Doc? Doc, are you there? Why would you be there? It's the middle of the goddamn night. This is bad, man. I, I don't even know what's happening. I swear, Doc, I didn't even know it was supposed to come through. I'm pretty good at getting a copy of the log from the wharf. I know what's coming in. It's not even my job. I just like to be prepared. But that ship... It said nothing about that ship, man. And then the bulb, the bulb quit on me, man. When I needed it the most, it quit on me. Everything was so dark. And then, boom! The ground is shaking. I went down there. I, I wanted to help. I wanted to make sure no one was hurt. Man, I don't know. There are monsters down there, Doc. I swear. I can see them in the shadows. They move around. When I'm not looking, they try and grab me into the floor, Doc. I'm not. I, I, I'm losing it. I found one of those flare guns. Someone must have dropped it. Gotta fight darkness with light. <laughs> Could I not see it sooner? Gotta fight. Wait. They're here. They're here. The men in black. Oh, weird. That guy Nygaard is here. I've seen him around. Around you, man. I, I gotta warn them, Doc. They don't know about the monsters. Gotta fight the darkness with light, man. So, I was right about, um, the light failing. A thing went catastrophically wrong, and he, uh, he, he did push him over the edge. It happens. Hey, kitty. You're back. Good. I was getting worried. Things are starting to become unstable around here. How so? The ground is shaking and the water outside is rising. Hmm? I know what happened to Alan. I know, I saw. Alan mentioned that driver you were treating. Max Nygaard? Classic bag of cats, that guy. There's probably a door to his house here as well. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You haven't been petting other cats, have you? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll be here. I don't know, though then again, I haven't been paying attention. The water could be rising. I don't know. Oh, hey. Hey. All right, well, we're gonna call it there. I don't wanna go too, too late with this. We've been going for four hours. That's a pretty good length stream. Uh, 
Wednesday, we have... Uh, here, hang on. So, Wednesday, we have Callisto Protocol, which is a game that I have been meaning to stream. I think I got this on Prime Gaming. Might try it out sometime. I don't, I don't remember where I got this. I think I just picked it up one day. I was like, eh, this could be interesting. Completely unaware of who actually made it and who was involved in it. This is a cool little game. We'll bring it back for the Halloween stream. Alright, so... Callisto Protocol is on Thursday. I'm pulling up the, the schedule now so that you guys can uh, have a look at it. There it is. Okay, so... Yes, Callisto Protocol on Wednesday and Thursday, we've got Chilla's Art. You guys know what Chilla's Art is? You probably do, you've just never heard that name before. Here we go. Chilla's Art. You've probably seen other people playing, um... The coffee shop game called Closing Shift. He makes a lot of different games, and we're just going to marathon a bunch of them. And the triple game lineup on Friday, you guys are going to like this, Amnesia the Bunker, Dead Space, and Escape the Backrooms. Multiplayer Backrooms. Should be interesting. Should be a lot of fun. And then Saturday, of course, is anime night. But yeah, for Chilla's art, we're definitely going to play uh, the closing shift. Uh, maybe the radio station. Night delivery is a must. Uh, we might do Onryo. The convenience store, the ghost train could be good. Could be good. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see which ones. We'll see which ones we do because there are a number of them. But yes, we're doing back rooms again. <laughs> Hopefully, this one will work this time. This one has pretty good reviews. So, here's hoping. <sighs> All right, well, that's it for me. I got a video I got to go record, so I will see you folks on Wednesday. Callisto Protocol. I have to get that installed on my computer, which I'm not looking forward to because it's 76 gigabytes. <sighs> Hard drive space. It's a valuable commodity in this day and age. Have a good night, guys. Keep your hard drives clean. <laughs> <laughs>